I hate ads. I see them everywhere, every day. I can't escape them. I get hit with like three ads before I start a YouTube video. And then another 12 just to watch the full 10 minute video. Can you believe it only took me six minutes to get through this nine minute video of something I've already seen on Twitter? Boom boom sha blah blah, but I'm moist critical and I thought I'd seen it all. But this Po90 guy? He's pretty cool. Hell, I can't even listen to music in peace without getting an ad on my home screen. I thought I paid to not see this. Hello, people at Spotify. Hi. I don't care about this artist. Stop giving me ads to go to his trash concert. But the biggest culprit of having ads shoved down your throat 24 seven is TikTok. Every post is an ad. It's like a sponsorship cesspool. If not an ad from TikTok itself, it's from an influencer or a sponsored post. Doing some sort of brand deal with a quirky dance. Bust it down for the hands, so Tatiana. And the worst culprits of this are musicians. Did I just make the song of the summer? Shut up. You've made the last seven songs of the summer. Let someone else have a turn. Every day I see my friends do Fortnite dances to their newest single on TikTok. But they're just getting that bag. They're all about that bag. What's wrong with grinding? Are you against the grind set? No. I'm just saying it's pathetic to watch. It's honestly depressing. There used to be a time where musicians didn't have to be quirky to make music. The music spoke for itself. But what if I didn't have to self-promote my music? What if someone else did it for me? What if all I had to do was sit back and count my fat racks while people added my songs to their playlist? That's not a bad idea. Thirty day challenges. They are littered all across YouTube. Thirty day workout challenge. Change your life in thirty days. Vape, vaping for thirty days. That's kind of a weird one. But in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of vaping for thirty days, I'll be posting promo on TikTok three times a day for thirty days. For the quick math people out there, you might be thinking, "Oh, how are you going to make ninety videos worth of engaging content?" Let me introduce you to the goats of pump and dump content promoting sounds. Originally in this video, I wasn't gonna talk about promoting sounds. We had a whole EP together that I had spent months on. And oh, hold up, it's up, uh, promoting sounds on the phone. Yo, what up, PS? Uh-huh. But I, I just finished it. Yeah, no, five songs. So you're not releasing it? Oh. Okay. If I can't have the formula to success, I'm just gonna steal it. Fuck you, Mr. Krabs. The promoting sounds TikTok cheat is so simple, it's almost stupid. They all have a multitude of different TikTok pages all geared towards one common goal, which is promoting their songs and their artists. I, I guess that's I guess that's two things. But they fall under the same too. And the content looks something like this. Sad songs when you're feeling worthless. Sad songs when you're feeling sad song, 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 sad song. How hard could it be? First step to making our video is picking out a format. The tagline should be big as possible. For me, it's a lot of sad songs, so. This song has been stuck in my songs. Head. Friends yeah. Yeah. Then once you have a few different formats, you open up your editing software and overlay some fancy script. Then add the song you're trying to promote with an aesthetic visualizer, copy and paste that enough times, and damn, you've been editing for 13 hours. Some people call doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results insanity. No baby, that's content. According to TikTok, a new account will have 30 days of a boost period, where the algorithm pretty much decides if you're trash or not. And if you're consistent with your posting, it'll recommend your videos to more people. So for the next 30 days, I'll need five different video styles with 18 different songs, posting three TikToks a day, making that a total of 90 videos. I'll be actively promoting old songs along with new songs so I can compare the analytics and see how they match up. After you've gotten all your videos made, you wanna make a brand new TikTok account. Now remember that image is everything. We need those juicy little followers to suckle on our content life force. Since most of the songs are sad, I decided to go with Heartbreak Haven. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, I'm a genius. Then we BS some fancy logo from Pixar and ba bam TikTok content. The first day of making TikToks was fairly easy. I had everything uploaded to my computer, scheduled for release, and oh my god, it's been 20 minutes with no engagement. Ah, shit, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Good thing I came prepared with extra TikToks and my drafts. So now I know, don't upload things through the computer. 
it doesn't work. Overall, I was genuinely surprised with the reception of the videos. Each video had quite a few bookmarks for people to come back to later. We gained four followers our first day and then 22 on day five, averaging anywhere from 30 to 60 likes per video. I feel like this is the start to some healthy growth. It's weird because I felt like I should be doing more, but then I remembered I already did all the hard work, the 13 hours of editing, scheduling, planning everything out, scripting this YouTube video. So now all I have to do is sit back and relax for the next 30 days. So day six, um, we're starting to see some dip in engagement. My life is absolutely crumbling right now and I need TikTok likes for validation. I'm hoping that just consistency alone will push us through the algorithm. On day 10, I learned something a little bit interesting. I started experimenting with the videos and seeing if being connected to Wi-Fi had anything to do with the video's performance. And the overall answer is yes. Also, you can switch your location to help you target different audiences. For instance, I was in Atlanta for a few days with some friends and I switched my location to Atlanta and saw a ton more engagement than in my hometown. I also tried out different forms of hashtags and learned that using fewer hashtags actually helps a bit more. Using less hashtags will broaden your stroke of your target audience, relying more on TikTok's algorithm than your big brain noggin. Day 15, things are looking up. Alas, when I thought this video was gonna be a bust, we saw some more engagement. Day 20, we finally hit 100 followers on TikTok. Videos are now hitting around 60 to 80 likes and a ton, and I mean a ton of bookmarks. It's actually strange that people are bookmarking the video rather than leaving comments. Finally, day 30. We've reached the end of the line, tapping out with 112 followers and all around an active engagement. So with all of that being said, what have I learned? Comparing the songs to their trends, the top three songs would be Convictions, Jealousy, and Ghosts. You can see the spike increase where my song Jealousy hit the top five on my Spotify and Ghosts dethrones my top song in the number one spot, which for reference hasn't been done in about three years. Also, this might be entirely coincidence, but possibly this boosting engagement was what helped me land my first Spotify editorial playlist. What I've also learned from this is I kind of messed up the formatting. Looking back, I should have strategized my videos more around conversation building. So users would engage with the post rather than just liking, saving, and then scrolling on to the next. The biggest takeaway that I can give for this video is that whatever content you make and whatever style, whatever genre, just be consistent. Actively promoting my music got me into the content brain's mindset, where I was actively seeking out unique ways to push my music further. For instance, I developed a new routine on promotion for my main account. Though instead of copy and paste content, it's more along the lines of filming, the same thing over and over, just switching up locations. That in return not only gave me consistency on both platforms, but also honed up my editing skills to match my quality with my work. Another thing that I had to remind myself during this whole vid is that music is a waiting game. You could be waiting for years to get your shot, but wishing you were viral will never get you any sort of attention on the internet. The person sitting next to you who put more work in will get it. Although none of the TikToks blew up per se, the fact that we got all of this for free is pretty amazing. And it goes to show you don't need to be a advertising wizard to pump and dump content. It's just being consistent, man. That was a good video. Now it's just time to export. Yeah, stop right there. Editor po 9 t from the future what are you doing here? I'm from the timeline where your video doesn't exceed 10 minutes and the world as we know it ends. The world ends because not enough people watch my self promo video? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. How do I extend the time? This is a production channel, right? You could, I don't know, produce something? I mean, I guess, like what? Check your phone. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Ah.